The centre notifies appointments of justices Rajesh Bindal and Arvind Kumar as Supreme Court judges. Now, the Supreme Court will uh, have full working strength. Now, recently, five judges were appointed. So that's the big breaking development that's coming in. And the central government has notified the appointments of uh, both these justices. Currently, the Chief Justice of Allahabad and Gujarat High Courts, respectively, as Supreme Court judges. Now, with their appointments, the Supreme Court will have full working strength of what we're picking up so far is 34 judges. The last time the Supreme Court had full strength of 34 judges was during the period of 2019 to November 2019. Let me cut across to my colleague Harish joining me live on the broadcast to get us more on this. Harish, good morning. Significant development coming in, but give us more details about um, both these judges. We're also understanding so far is that the last time this happened where the Supreme Court was in full strength was way back in 2019. Yes, uh, that's right. Uh, the, uh, the last time Supreme Court worked uh, with its full strength of uh, sanction strength of 34 judges was uh, in uh, between September 2019 and November 2019. And so, uh, in a way, after the uh, centre has notified the appointment of two more judges, that is Rajesh Bindal, who is the Chief Justice of Allahabad High Court, and uh, Arvind uh, Kumar, who is the Chief Justice of Gujarat High Court, now the strength uh, of the Bay Supreme Court bench has uh, gone up to 34. Remember, uh, last week, Monday, also, uh, five more judges were sworn in. So, uh, now with this uh, seven judges, uh, new judges coming to Supreme Court, the total strength of the Supreme Court is 34 out of 34, uh, the full strength of Supreme Court is 34. So, a very significant development and that uh, coming amidst uh, this uh, war of words uh, between uh, the centre and the Collegium. Remember, uh, the uh, the Supreme Court had taken very serious view of the fact that the centre was uh, sitting on the appointments. Remember, this uh, the appointment of la five judges last Monday came after the, in fact, the, their recommendation was made way back in December 2022. The Supreme Court Court had told the centre that they will be uh, forced to take very tough, difficult decisions which may not be palatable to the uh, government. So after that, centre quickly, swiftly acted and uh, uh, had notified these seven uh, new judges for the Supreme Court. And countering to that uh, criticism, remember Kiran Rijuju, the law minister, had said that the country works as per the constitution and the wishes and will of the people and no wing should be warning the other wing the, uh, and the pillars of democracy all these wings should be working together and therefore this criticism was not welcome. But anyhow, uh, the centre has acted swif swiftly as per the assurance given by the uh, Attorney General R. Venkitramani on the last date of hearing that uh, these uh, recommendations will be swiftly processed and this rec and these uh, appointments will be done. So uh, we are expecting that the new two new judges uh, will also be sworn in tomorrow morning at 10.30 uh, in the Supreme Court premises and the the significance of it all is that uh, Supreme Court is for the first time working in its full uh, capacity, full strength of 34 judges after November 2019.